So how do you normally clean windows? Windows, so normally what I'll do is, um, after I'm done vacuuming and wiping down the interior, I'll take a glass cleaner and I do the two towel method. I'll spray, uh, it, depending on how severe the inside of the windshield is. Yeah. If it's very, very dirty, I'll spray the window directly because I know I'm gonna have to clean up around it anyway. Yeah. Um, if it's a maintenance vehicle, I'll just take my first towel, I'll go ahead and do two, three sprays depending on the size of the windshield. I'll just go ahead and get half the windshield and follow up the second towel and then, and then dry or remove any residue. Okay, let's just wash same towel and the same product we use for the outside of the car. Dry towel. Okay. Is there a certain way you recommend holding the towel? Well, however you can. However. <laughs> oh, I got it. There you go. So one of the common problems with cleaning windows, especially with an alcohol-based glass cleaner, is as that alcohol evaporates, the towels get really, really rough to work with. Right. Is that the same case with the rinse and swash? No. Okay. We'll find out. And I like to not look at the window when I'm cleaning. Okay. The reason for that is you actually feel the dirt. Okay. A thumbs up for the camera. Yeah. <laughs> so you'll feel the you'll feel the window getting slick. Okay. But if you're looking at it, your eyes are looking for dirt, whereas your hands actually feel it. So it's almost like your other senses pick yeah. up. Oh, okay. That's definitely slick. It's definitely not like an alcohol-based glass cleaner. And anti-static. That's the biggest thing, the anti-static right there. That's awesome. Yeah. And so we move these down and yeah and we can wipe the whole interior down with that one towel so we just go ahead and get it all done looking good yes sir <laughs> want to get that one Pay rent, it ain't staying. Yeah, it's been there for a while, probably. Doesn't look new. For your first, mm -hmm. and I'll basically from here down, work my way down the windshield, dash, console, and then work my way out of the car. Okay. And when I'm done a section, I'm done. I can close the door and finish. Okay, and now that's not for the fact of we don't want dirt to spread or anything. That's more of having a system in your mind and a process so it's one step after another step after another step. Right. And it helps you to work easier and quicker without thinking too much. Exactly. Stand okay. Standard operating procedure. Yeah. And there's no right or wrong way to do it. It's just find a way that works for you. And once you have that, continue with it. Okay. And that way you can get things done without thinking about it. You know, it's like your commute to work. You know, if you drive the same highway every day, mm -hmm. sometimes you'll get to work and if I go past that store, you know, yeah, uh, you just completely forget about it because mm -hmm. you zone out. And it's the same thing when you're when you have a standard operating procedure, you can basically zone out and ignore what you're doing, and your muscle memory does the work for you. Yeah. It's like uh, all the time I leave the house, I'm like, did I turn off the stove? Yeah. So I make my coffee on the stove top, and I'm like, did I turn off the stove? And I'm 20 minutes away from the house, and I got to turn back, so I'm like, oh, man, I don't remember if I did or not. Right. So. And every time you did, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I always end up turning it off because it's just, it's just muscle memory. Yeah. So using rinseless wash on the interiors is great because it makes the, the vehicle look clean. It doesn't give it this shiny look or glossy look or anything. It just gives it a good matte uniform finish, like almost a factory finish. Sterling. Good Lord, have mercy and a half. And it works as good, good cleaner. Yeah. <laughs> so here, let's take a clean section of the towel. So we know it's clean. Let's just see what we get off. It's 
Mr. Hill and I deep cleaning here. Ladies and gentlemen, when we say I maintain the vehicle, it's just a basic wash and vacuum, okay? <laughs> <laughs> now we're getting back to the matte look mm -hmm. that it's supposed to be. The other thing about the rinseless, unlike a, you know, a lot of people will use an APC on an interior. When you're using an APC, you, you have risks of associated course. with it. Mm -hmm. Uh, like all the white lettering on the switches and on the stocks. Mm -hmm. Whereas with the rinseless, you don't have, you don't run that risk. So you can clean, you can clean the stocks without worry and even get in there and scrub if they're yellowed over a little bit. Mm -hmm. Restore that nice, that nice white lettering. Yeah, and this is an older vehicle, so that can be a problem. Yeah. As far as the white lettering goes. Oh. I think we've all been in a case where we've removed letters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then we just got the center here. I'll take care of that. Lower part of the dash and the console. Mm -hmm. But now we have a nice matte steering wheel, and if you feel it, it feels silky. Oh, yeah. It's not grabby. It's not. It's clean. Yeah. Yeah, it's clean. seat of this car if you can call it a seat yeah right <laughs> uh it has seat belts so it qualifies yeah uh, i don't think anybody has ever sat back there probably not definitely not since this owner's had the vehicle no i've had to get back there to clean it yeah fun <laughs> thank god i'm not six foot three Alright, so we want to get this too? Yep. Okay. 